This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Well, Britney Spears' sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, is going to be on Good Morning America today, and they have posted a little bit of a preview of what you can expect as she gets tearful. Um, I love my sister. But Um, things have gotten complicated. I guess so. What do you regret not saying? All right, so she does have a book to promote, Things I Should Have Said. Now, Britney Spears posted, Shall I Start from the Beginning? So people feel like that is in response to this interview that's going to be happening this morning. And on Good Morning America, they posted that clip and said, What does she want you to know about her family and her life? Watch the new ABC exclusive tomorrow morning only on ABC's Good Morning America. Britney going to be butt naked on the ground by 5 p.m. West Coast time, unbothered. Yeah, I was going to say that. Didn't she just post a a picture naked, butt-ass naked? Yeah, she's done a few. Mm. All right, now Fat Joe has started a relief fund for those people who have been affected by the deadly Bronx fire, which left at least 17 people dead. He's working with the New York City Mayor's Fund to launch the fundraiser, and he's gotten contributions from Jay-Z and DJ Khaled. He's also tapping into other celebrities in the uh, realm of music, sports, entertainment, and business network to provide further aid for the victims of the fire. I'm definitely donating to that one. I've seen a lot of different links going around. I didn't know, uh, you know which one to donate to, because I honestly didn't know the organizations and know the people, but since I know Fat Joe, I'm going to donate to that one. Yeah, I'm going to post it. I'm going to donate to Fat Joe, too. Yes, Shout out to Joey Craig. And iHeart has one as well, too, by the way, that they're giving all the proceeds are going directly to the victims and their families. Don't know if I trust that organization. All right, now, Nas, <laughs> we told you about the NFT that he announced when he was teaming up with a blockchain-powered platform called Royal. You'll be able to obtain streaming royalty rights to his King's Disease and King's Disease 2 tracks Ultra Black and Rare. So that NFT project dropped uh, Monday, and they said the website ended up crashing when the NFTs became open to the public. So people were posting this Nas NFT was like a sneaker drop. So the website is still was, was yesterday still down for maintenance. And, yeah, so people really want that NFT. In addition to that, uh, Pete Rock is suing Nas over royalties from Illmatic. He says that he hasn't been paid a cent in royalties for working on that Illmatic album. He told Page Six that they're gearing up to sue finally. They said he has uh, writing credits and uh, the only single on that LP to go gold was The World Is Yours. So now he's owed millions of dollars. Uh, Pete Rock told Page Six, Nas and his people have stonewalled me since 1994. My New Year's resolution is to be compensated for my hard work on Illmatic. I mean, 30 but, years, damn. But, but would it be Nas, though? Would that, wouldn't that would that be the publishing company, maybe, or the record label? Well, he said Nas and his people. So, yeah, and I'm sure if you reach out to Nas, he can tell them, like, yo, y'all got to take care of this. I wonder if Nas even made any money off Illmatic and royalties. I just I just think when I hear that that first time, I always think of uh, Search Searchlight, remember? Yeah, Searchlight Publishing. Searchlight Publishing. I know I, I thought, who I paid, God, Searchlight, Searchlight Publishing. I thought MC Search owned the majority of that. I don't know. All but right, well, know, they yeah. said that track is the, mo- is the song most sampled by hip-hop artists from Nas' whole catalog. According to Insiders, it's been sampled by Jay-Z, Eminem, Rick mm-hmm. Ross, Little Wayne, and Mac Miller as well. I wonder if Pete Rock got paid from uh, the Dead President song. He had to, right? Since they sampled it? Uh, I mean, he just hasn't mm-hmm. gotten his royalties. So I'm not no, no, saying- I'm talking about from Jay-Z, the Jay-Z Dead President song. I wonder if Pete Rock got paid from that. He should, because they sampled him out for presidents to represent me. Yeah, but if he don't own the publishing, then he didn't get it. Oh, got you. All right, now, Young Dolph, the two men that have been accused of his murder have been taken into police custody in connection with that shooting death. Justin Johnson, who is 23, was captured yesterday afternoon, and that's nearly a week after law enforcement announced he was wanted by police with connection to that. And and so there are a number of alleged charges, including first-degree murder, criminal attempted first-degree murder, and property theft. A second suspect was indicted by a grand jury yesterday on first-degree murder charges in the shooting death of young Dolph as well, Cornelius Smith, who's 32. He was indicted on additional charges of attempted first-degree murder, convicted felon in possession of a firearm, employment of a firearm in the commission of a dangerous felony, and property theft, and he is being held without bond. Man, send the healing energy to the family of Young Dolph. Um, I'm glad they got him. Wish it never happened, but glad they got him. Black man is dead. Two black men going to prison for the rest of their life for what? All right, now, Drake is ignoring these rumors that have been spreading about him. I first saw this on Media Takeout a few days ago. But there is a woman that is claiming that uh, she's suing Drake because he put hot sauce in a condom. (laughs) Now, according to the story, they were at a party. They had a romantic encounter. And after the party, they went back to his hotel. They smoked weed. 
He asked if she wanted to have sex. She said he was very intent on ensuring things were consensual. They had a bit of foreplay. He rubbed on her. And uh, she said a lot of things. He's seven inches, this, this, and that. And then she said uh, he mostly did it from the back. And eventually came... Anyway, eventually there was a condom. He went to the bathroom. And then immediate, immediately after he went to go dispose of the condom in the bathroom, she went in there, untied the condom out of the trash, and put it inside her. And there was hot sauce in the condom. Well, that's what she gets if this story is allegedly oh, come true. Come on, this sounds so But fake. if it is true, so why are we reporting it? Then? Yeah. Well, because I, I, Drake then posted after all this because it was a story that went viral and this is the rumor report so we're talking about things that has been happening because a lot of people were talking about it on social media and he posted, you can have your 15 minutes of fame, I'll take the other 23 hours and 45 minutes. I, I wish Drake didn't even respond to it and I think it's ridiculous to even report those kind of stories. I know why folks do them because it's entertaining and nobody cares about the truth and the lies more entertaining but it's just silly to even, you know, talk about things like that. And I really wish people like Drake didn't even reply because when they reply, they, then they make it a story. Even well, though yeah, people because I saw this story days ago and then when he replied, now we're like, okay. That's right. Now you now you give bigger outlets kind of a the funny, license kind of a funny to run story, with though. that nonsense. Like, man. But it is funny. This is kind of a funny Ignore story. it, man. Nobody <laughs> cares about the truth and the lies more entertaining, but some things don't deserve no attention and no energy. All right, now Star Jones is going to be replacing Judge Faith Jenkins next season, and that's going to be on Divorce Court, which, by the way, is television's longest-running court show, just a FYI. And so Star Jones is excited about that. She said, as a fan of television's longest-running court show, I was honored to be considered to take over the Divorce Court TV bench following in the footsteps of three incredible women, Judge Maybelline, Judge Lynn Toller, and Judge Faith Jenkins. So congratulations to her, and I know Judge Faith Jenkins has her own show, that is set to debut as well. Yeah, it's called Killer Relationship with Faith Jenkins. It actually debuts uh, this Sunday. Mm-hmm. I guess she's really going all in on the relationship space. She put out her book, Sis Don't Settle. <laughs> you know, and this book is called Killer Relationship with Faith Jenkins. This this uh, TV show on all right, Oxygen. Well, that is your rumor reports. All right, now we got front page news. Next, what are we talking about? Yes, let's talk about Dr. Fauci and what he has to say uh, to two Republicans who are making his life really difficult and threatening having uh, people threaten his family. All right, and also next hour, Bakari Sellers will be joining us, of course. He's a CNN political commentator. He has a new book called Who Are Your People? And we're going to talk with him next, all right? Well, after front page news, it's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.